Uh, now, though, Nancy? Yes, yes, Martin. We have in studio with us Joshua Makubu. He's a disability advocate. And off of the back of a story that um, TV3 did for Mission Ghana uh, about a boy uh, called Oreku who has special needs and had been kicked out of school for non-payment of fees. And uh, but, the, but, the, but Mission, which is the program run by TV3 here, or Media General here, paid the fees for the young boy to, to get him back into schools. Uh, but if we look at uh, what legislation says in Ghana, the Persons and Disabilities Act 2006 um, clearly states the provision of free education and special schools for PWDs. So uh, this is where we're at, and we're about to have a short conversation with Mr. Mark. Kubu. Mr. Makubu, thank you for joining us in You're studio welcome. this morning. You're welcome. Yes, so um, you are a, a person with disability yourself and you advocate for other people with disabilities. Um, what I'd want to go... In, uh, you're talking about um, the Persons with Disabilities Act and the fact that um, education has to be fully subsidized for people with disabilities. What are you advocating for and are your advocacies ideal? Are they realistic? Thank you very much for this opportunity. I think uh, before the coming to force of the Disability Act uh, 2006, Act 715, there had been a lot of advocacy around these issues of persons with disability and how to get them in the, uh, integrated into the society right. in, the, in the mainstream. Now, uh, as part of the laws, um, government was supposed to ensure that Persons with disabilities who are in the mainstream uh, or regular schools go to school free of charge. And then there are some people that their disabilities will not allow them to go to the mainstream mm. um, schools. So we need special schools for them. Right. And for that one, too, school fees should also be what free. Mm. Uh, government should provide everything. That is what the law says. But well, well, why do you think government has been adamant to, to, to put into force this act? Yeah, I think it is a lack of uh, appreciation of uh, issues with, uh, on disability. Some people sit somewhere and still think that, look, if we are making this a to work for one Ghanaian, it should work for every Ghanaian. Mm. But I, as a person with disability, has been to the educational system. I can tell you that the ex additional cost you incur mm. to bring up a child with disability is three times mm. higher than the school fees that they pay. So government should realize, stakeholders should realize that parents of uh, children with disability are already overburdened. Mm. Like the Oreku's uh, case. The, yeah. yeah, the mother is spending a lot now at the hospital on his disability to make sure he's able to speak. And this same mother is expected to what? Go and, and pay, pay the, the same fees. school fees mm. others are paying. But, but, um, that's understandable. We don't have that much time, so we're just uh, finally on on this one. What is you yourself, a uh, person with disability? What was it like for you, or what do you think it's like for children who are in inclusive education? That is, um, who are mixed up with the mainstream children. Uh, uh, what is it like for them, and why is it important for their development to be mixed up or to be integrated into mainstream? education. Uh, thank you. The mainstream education, inclusive education will help eliminate this issue of our stigma. As right. you sit here today, the moment you appear before um, an interview panel and you are a person with disability, the idea is already formed about your inability to do something. Right. But those I had the opportunity of going through the same educational institution with them, when they see me today, yeah, they know who I am and yes, they know what, what I can capable. do. So they transfer the same courtesies to other persons with disabilities. Right. So all the challenges we are facing in the job sector, discrimination, the mainstream society is because of what the exclusive nature of our education mm. but if it is inclusive then i think from childhood they will begin to appreciate mm. whatever we do and we can work together that is wonderful mm. thank you for joining us this morning uh, i myself have somebody in my family with a physical disability okay. so i'm very passionate about okay. the issues of accessibility in public places and okay. other places but we will have a more extended uh, conversation okay. next time okay. you come here and join us on okay. the morning show uh, we're eating a little bit into news time now okay. it's just one minute after 10 so we will sign out here with myself martin and uh Sedem, uh from yes. the sunrise show on 92.7 certainly yeah. thank you very much and uh, we're just making way for the news and um
Aisha will be joining us shortly with the latest in the world of news regarding what's happening in and around the country. And uh, also, if you stay with 3FM on uh, midday, we will be bringing you stories uh, that are making rounds in the country and then also let you know uh, regarding the developments of some of the key topics in the country. We are following for you and I will make sure that when we do get those updates, you are adequately and equally informed as well. On behalf of the team, thank you very much. Join us same time 6am and we will be here with the latest in the world of stories and news 